folks, Donnie D here. Out here in my little side yard here with my uh, white wing auto trap from Do All Light Door and also my Do All Light Door Clay Hawk three quarter cock manual trap. And I was going to make a little quick video kind of showing you the ins and outs of both of them. Uh, for those of you that might be thinking about getting a uh, clay through oil trap with, and help you decide whether you want to go with uh, automatic or manual or even both just depends on what you want. I thought uh, I made a video kind of touching on the highs and lows on them. might help you make up your mind. So let's get to it. All right, let's start with the old clay hog here. Uh, I've had it for only about two, two and a half months. Uh, it's, um, but just to get started on telling you about it, it will throw any kind of clay made as far as I know. Anything from the small little two inch clays, I'm not even sure what they call them, up to the large rabbit clays and the standard anything in between. It'll throw anything that's made as far as I know. The uh, white wing will only throw the four and a quarter inch standard clays. Also the uh, uh, clay hawk <coughs> can throw uh, stacked pairs as well. Normally you would put one clay in under the clip, slide it to whatever direction you want it to throw and throw it, uh, but you can also stack them, adjust this and stack, put two under there and throw two at a time, same way. Real nice. The uh, white wing will only throw one clay at a time. Uh, also this will throw rabbits and you don't even have to have rabbit clays for that. You can throw a standard four and a quarter, I know because I've done it. Just set, uh, orient the head for throwing rabbits and put a four and a quarter inch in there and that'll work just fine. The rabbits may work better, I don't know, but at least you know you don't have to buy rabbits in order to do that. Um, one really good thing about the uh, uh, white wing that uh, above the uh, clay hawk is I, with the it orient uh, configured the way I have it with the the uh, hopper that I got on it, which is the one that the standard one that came with it, I can put 25 clays in there, and I can go off to the side or behind it or however I want to, and I can shoot 25 clays without having to mess with anything. Whereas on the clay hawk, you do have to load it, whether you load a stack power or a single, you have to do it with every throw. So you're not going to be able to get too far away from it or anything like that. Um, the clay hawk will throw a wider range of angles from basically straight out to straight up if you needed to do that for some reason. Whereas the uh, white wing I believe is uh, limited to something between 5 degrees and 30 degrees, something in that range. Uh, which is going to cover pretty much anything you want and you can always put like a uh, something to lift the front up a little bit if you want to go a little higher, it would, wouldn't be any problem. Um, the clay hawk is very light. Uh, compared to the white wing, you can pick it up with one hand, set it in your uh, back of your pickup truck or in the trunk of your car, maybe even in the back seat of a, a larger vehicle. Um, whereas the, uh, the white wing is quite a bit heavier. It's not so heavy you can't pick it up, but it's right much heavier than the clay hog. But I still don't have any real, real problems with it. I can get it right in the back of my truck, no problem. Um, but both of them are very well made and I guess that's where the weight comes in. Uh, the clay hawk needs to be staked down. It comes with three, I think they're about 10, 12 inch long stakes that you drive through some holes in the base into the ground. And you need to do that because uh, it will, uh, with the torque in the head, it will walk around with you if you don't stake it down. Um, I put these boards on the bottom of the uh, <coughs> white wing and I find that I don't even have to stake it. I can just set it on the ground and it, it'll sit right there and do whatever I need to do as long as uh, throw as many clays as I need and it won't move. So that's really nice about that. Um, I, of course I hadn't had any problems with the clay hawk. Uh, I've only had it a couple, a little over two months. But so far so good. We'll see how she holds up. Uh, I believe they say that the throwing head is guaranteed for something like a million throws and I don't think I'm going to use them up. <laughs> but uh, And the only problem I've had in the 10 years I've had it with the uh, white wing about two months ago, make a long story short, I had the main relay which goes right down in, there in a panel where the, you see the wires coming out. 
uh, and I had to order that. It was 18 bucks. Got it in less than a week. It took me about 10 minutes to put it in. It's pretty much plug and play. Uh, real easy to replace. But that's the only problem I've had with it in the 10 years that I've had, and that was a, a real easy uh, diagnosis and easy fix. Um, like I said, with the clay hawk, you need to be kind of close to it uh, because you've got to reset it each time. You don't want to be walking 30, 40 feet away from it and have to walk 30, 40 feet back to load another clay in it. Whereas with the uh, white wing, uh, that's one of the best things about it. You're going to load 25 clays and you can buy extended hopper to put even more in. I wish I had the cord and wrap, but I don't. But the cord that comes with it is about 25 feet long, and you can add uh, a regular shop cord to it to make it, I guess, about as long as you want to make it. And of course, it's got the long cord for the uh, for the battery. That's that's about I'm gonna guess about six or eight feet long. But anyway, you can. That's the good thing is you can throw from pretty much any position and any distance that you want, as long as you cool to reach with the uh, white wing, which is really, really nice. And with the clay hawk, you're kind of limited because you have to consider you have to load it each time. But anyway, uh, the clay hawk, according to my estimation, I don't know how accurate I am, but I try to be. It, uh, it'll throw one about 70 yards, plus or minus, depending on what angle you've got the head set at. Uh, the uh, white wing, I'm gonna guess it throws them at least 80 yards plus. Again, it would depend on what angle you've got it oriented at, and I believe I've got it set at the max height. And it's throwing them about 80 yards, I'm guessing. Uh, and it will throw my flash clays. Uh, that's really important to me because I really like shooting those. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just pull up Donnie D's flash clays in this bike four or five videos in there I'm making them in the different ways I make them and stuff like that and even a couple of videos where I'm shooting them. Uh, I'm not sure if the clay hawk will throw one. I meant to try one uh, in it and I just forgot. I, I don't know. That uh, that clip might cause the uh, uh, chalk the base to break before it throws. I don't know. We'll fi I'll find out and let you know though. Um, I'm probably more likely on any given day to use the clay hawk simply because it's so light and easy to load in my truck as opposed to the white wing. So I might use it more, I'll be more apt to use it. And that's kind of important too. But um, you do have uh, the option of a couple of accessories for the uh, white wing. You can, like I said, you can get extensions for the hopper so you can put more clays in it at the time. And you can buy a wobbler kit for it. If you don't know what a wobbler is, just pull it up and you'll see. It looks like it'd be a lot of fun. But anyway, one last thing on the white wing. I believe that it is out of, uh, in other words, they don't make it anymore. You can still buy them. And I think you can even find them new. But they don't make this actual uh, thrower anymore. Like I said, mine's 10 years old. But... The ones they do make are the same thrower. They make at least two or three that are the same thrower that are probably just newer and maybe a little bit better. They've probably improved it a little bit. I don't know how they can prove it much because it's fantastic. But anyway, uh, I think you can tell that I love my, my white wing and I, and I love my clay hawk. But if I had to get, get rid of one, couldn't keep but one of them, I think I would stay with the white wing. Uh, because the only bad points about it is it's kind of heavy, but it's got so many good points. Uh, it, I just love it, and I can sh I can use it from any position I want. Uh, I'm not limited to being close to it. I don't know. I just think that that's the one that I would go with. If I only could have one, but hey, that's not putting down the clay hawk. It's really nice, and I really like it, and uh, wouldn't give it up for nothing. But anyway, just want to make that quick little video. Anybody out there looking to buy some type of a, a clay thrower, auto trap, manual trap, I hope this will give you some information that will help you make up your mind. So anyway, for the Do All Outdoor White Wing uh, Auto Trap or the Do All Outdoor Manual Clay Hawk 3 quarter cock, this is Donnie D, and I'll see you later. Bye.